بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا مباغي تاتري ني لاتوغان دي ديف كورمان باتيسبنس وينس ليديز اند جنتلمان السلام عليكم and a very good evening to everyone I am delighted that uh, this year, or rather not last year, the number of participants in this contest has increased. And I think this is a good sign because uh, we need people to be always thinking about competing and winning. Uh, we live in a world that is very competitive. Uh, we need to do, we need to excel and show our capabilities. But when there is a contest, there is an opportunity to actually improve your abilities in order to win. Of course, some will win and some will lose. But that is part of life. Life is never always on the up. There are times, times when we are down. The main thing about being down is to get up again and try again. And I'm quite sure you will always be trying throughout your life to win. A country that is full of winners will be a winning country. It will be a successful country. Because in the world also we see a lot of competition between countries, between peoples, between individuals and groups. And the main incentive is to try and do better than others. I'm quite sure, I, I'm, I've not read the essays nor seen the pictures, but I'm quite sure the judges know how to reward the best among the competitors. That is going to be a part of your life because you're still young. You have, uh, you have about 80, 70 years more to live. That makes you 90. So all the while you are going to compete. Of course, you can compete uh, to be the oldest, the fastest, whatsoever. But we need to win in all competitions. Of course, somebody will lose, somebody will win. I notice that in some places, people do not like to lose. When they lose, they say, well, the other chaps win because they have cheated. That is not very graceful. That is something that you have to learn to avoid and to accept results, even though you believe that the judges have been bribed. You know, some judges have been bribed. <laughs> even attorney generals. No, no, I, I'm sorry. I didn't say that. <laughs> I have to be very careful about this because I might have to face court action <laughs> for saying the wrong things. <laughs> but I think if you lose, you have to be sportsmanlike, that you accept losing. And the winners shouldn't be too well, too proud of their achievement. They should be partially humble and be considerate of those whom you have beaten. That way, our society will become a very peaceful society. The problem that we face today in this world is that losers do not want to accept losing. 
So whenever they lose, they give some excuse for their losing and they believe mothers. But I'm quite sure the winners today will not be blaming others. Or what the losers today will not be blaming others. And the winners will be humble enough to know that in a certain way it is luck that has uh, helped them to win. You are going to face competition throughout your life and it is good for you to accept uh, the need to compete, to do your very best and to try and win. <clears throat> I like to mention that, uh, that there are certain character in a person or certain value that you have which will help you to achieve success in whatever you do. It is a strong feeling of shame. Now, some people feel ashamed because they are not properly dressed or something like that. But I don't mean that. I mean that when you do something that is bad, you should feel ashamed. When you don't do your work properly, you should feel ashamed. I, I think people know that I am very partial towards the Japanese. And among the things I, re I admire about the Japanese is that they have a very strong sense of shame. In the good or the bad old days, when a Japanese man fails to do what he is asked to do, he will just cut his stomach open. It's called hara kiri. Hara is stomach, kiri is cut. Those were the days when failure means suicide for you. But today the Japanese don't do that anymore. Although some of them do still jump off high-rise building. But uh, normally because of the fear of being ashamed of themselves, they try their best. They want to produce the best they can so that they will not be ashamed of the work that they have done or the thing that they have produced. And so today, Japanese products are always admired for their quality. Why do they achieve quality? It is because if they do something that is of poor quality, they would be ashamed. Uh, but uh, not everybody has this high value for <coughs> shamefulness. Some people just don't mind. Uh, some people will work for what they are paid for. Time's up. They drop everything and they go home. They don't think much about the results of their work. Such people, I mean, people <coughs> from communities which have that kind of uh, value system will never succeed. But people whose value system includes the strong sense of shame, they will succeed. So we need to develop a strong sense of shame. We need to try to do everything the best we can. And we need to compete all the time and we need to win in all competition. So having competition is very important. Uh, of course, in sports, you have competition. In the work that you do, you compete. In the tests that you have to take, you compete. Examinations, you compete. So life is full of competition. And life becomes 
enjoyable even. If you win, if you try your best and you win in competitions. So I hope that this little effort on the part of the Padana Leadership Foundation to give you an opportunity to show your ability is useful in implanting in you this strong sense of shame if you fail to do your best. Of course, some people say it, is, uh, it doesn't matter, but I think it matters for a country like Malaysia where people should have a very strong sense of shame. If they do something wrong, for example, I, I wouldn't ask them to come in Harakiri, but please retire. When you have a strong sense of shame, I think society will be much better. Because those who feel ashamed will try their best not to feel ashamed by doing their utmost. And people who do not perform will feel enough shame and try again. So we will have a very competitive society where people will make every effort possible in order to do the best they can. And if you imagine Malaysia full of people who want to do the best all the time, this will be a great country. I thank you.